Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Dorian, right now, a powerful Category 3 storm, winds of 115 miles per hour. The storm center is just 45 miles from the coastline. You can see the center here, the eye, very large eye with Dorian, very close to Charleston right now. So on this track, Dorian could make landfall or be very close to it later today, tonight, or early tomorrow in the Outer Banks. Also to note, these outer bands that are wrapping around, these contain tornadoes. There have been several tornadoes already spotted water spouts as well coming into the Wilmington area. North Carolina, the southern part of it anyway, hit hard with a tornadic activity from this storm. And yes, hurricanes can spawn tornadoes. In fact, Ivan spawned over 100 tornadoes uh, well back in 2004. So we're not expecting that many with uh, Dorian here, but Dorian's track will take it very close to Wilmington later this evening perhaps across the Outer Banks early tomorrow morning. That's 8 a.m. as a Category 2 hurricane. And then Dorian will head out to sea here, well away from Delmarva, away from Cape Cod. Might brush uh, Nova Scotia and areas into Canada, but that's going to be weakening by that point and well out in the North Atlantic early next week. So Dorian, we've been talking about it for what seems to be two weeks. We will continue to talk about this very strong storm. Right now, the high clouds from Dorian have been infiltrating our sky. We've been seeing these clouds since sunrise, made for a beautiful sunrise out there. Currently 71 degrees with a comfy dew point of 54. Today, our News 8 Storm Team forecast calls for mainly cloudy skies, lots of those high clouds. There could be some thinning in the clouds, some sun peeking through, but overall a mostly cloudy afternoon with highs in the 70s. Tonight, clouds hang tough. It'll be comfortable though. No muggies here, 58 to 62. Tomorrow, clouds still lingering as Dorian moves off the coast of the mid-Atlantic and heads well out to sea. So there could be a shower here, not really sold on it. We could see a few showers around with some breezy conditions tomorrow. Current temperature, 71 in Lebanon, 73 in Carlisle. It's 71 degrees in York. Nice and refreshing in Sealands Grove. You're not even to 70 yet. Humidity forecast today, big change from yesterday. Yesterday it was muggy, it was stuffy. We nearly hit 90 degrees. Next couple of days it's going to feel like fall. So live here on our satellite and radar network, these are the clouds extending over 500 miles from Dorian Center. High pressure is keeping us dry today, but watch what happens as Dorian moves up the East Coast tomorrow and interacts with the system coming in from the Great Lakes. There may be a shower around here, but Really nothing compared to the nearly 10 to 15 inches of rain some parts of the Carolinas could see from Dorian. So Dorian heads away from us. We start to clear out on Saturday morning. Sunday's looking great. Just a beautiful weekend around here in the Susquehanna Valley. So here's a look at the predictor estimated rainfall totals for us. It's near nothing, but down to our south, there could be isolated totals over 15 inches, Susan. So flash flooding, we have the storm surge. We have the risk of tornadoes there. This is still a very serious storm, and it is a Category 3 storm right now, expected to weaken to a Category 2 come tomorrow. A lot of folks have family in the Carolinas, mm. or I had a lot of folks emailing saying they had beach plans this weekend. You know, what should I do? The storm if you're going to local beaches, will be out to sea by Saturday and Sunday. Should be sunny down there. Mm, but still very active, as you yes. say. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Christine.